Uh, the European government has got a very clear uh, strategy and plans. Uh, the new literacy that our graduates have to have. Uh, the new literacy on uh, digital literacy, new literacy on globalization, new, new literacy on uh, diversity as well as uh, the hardware gadgets. And we have to start with uh, local connectivity. We have to connect all our initiatives, we have to connect all our minds in the university and every resource available in one of the universities must be also be accessible to the rest of the university system. And for this we are planning a policy but still as a matter of fact they are running with that uh, memoranda for understanding uh, some exam or the ministry's guideline to work together on open accesses and open resources. Not only having these guidelines, but also having an established body, the Ethiopian Education and Research Network. We have now become an act member, active member of Ubuntu Net in Africa. We would like to connect to Europe through Giant and we would like to connect to the rest of the world through GRAIN, the Global Research and Education Network. We are doing this uh, venue in, in different steps. We had the first step as the library carpentry where we have invited uh, librarians and the ICT staff from the libraries. In a second uh, uh, step we invited the librarians, the ICT staff, the vice deans, uh, the deans and the vice presidents from the universities to see how they could work together and we have uh, quite a bright future in the digital world, in the global world, if we work together. It's not anymore that the researchers work by themselves, they need the ICT people, they need uh, the support from the digital um, world in the same way. We have um, introduced uh, in, in the first step the, the ORCID ID, how important it is to have a digital uh, ID to communicate with the publishers, to, uh, to publish their own uh, resources, papers. It's also then that we move on to, uh, to, the, to, to setting up the libraries, the repositories and uh, this will be done in the regional approach where we invite clusters or where we come to cluster universities where we will run workshops at the cluster universities and then by end of uh, June we should have repositories ready. This initiative uh, is um, it's a marvelous initiative because it's including librarians, uh, uh, students, researchers, ICTs, and uh, I uh, was always surprised about the presence of the Minister for uh, Education and Science. Uh, I think uh, these are uh, right steps uh, in order to create this national infrastructure. Um, next steps could be maybe uh, to involve uh, more uh, in order to have better, um, involve more participants in order to have better training skills with the next steps and to join international or transnational initiatives uh, not only in Europe but also in other countries like for example in South America uh, I think for example at the, la, the experiences of La, la Referencia or uh, Red Clara or in uh, some other countries like in uh, China or in India. In Europe we are launching the European Open Science Cloud and maybe this could be um, a trigger to think about uh, the forthcoming African Open Science Cloud. Anyway, it complements the organizers to, for this wonderful conference. Research is an important asset of research intensive institutions such as universities and often we don't know where our research is even. It's published with research um, journals, with research publishers, but we don't have it centrally archived. 
so important for Ethiopia as a country and for institutions to decide how important is their research for them and whether they want to centrally preserve and guarantee access to it for the unforeseeable future. So I think a meeting such as this, a workshop where they discuss issues, ask questions, how to approach this national initiative is very important and um, terrifying terminology and what they understand under the different concepts very important and they can learn a lot from other repositories already successfully implemented in Africa um, across Africa there are 155 repositories successfully implemented so I would wish them to work with those repositories learn from others and um, I don't need to wait for policy but they can start with experimenting on ground level and from there um, test pilot a national um, harvester and then um, learn from their mistakes and take it forward. The Digital Repository of Ireland is a national digital repository for humanities and social science data. It's a fairly new institution and it was built by a project of people who are coming from a number of different fields. There was archivists, librarians, software developers, ICT professionals, social scientists, uh, historians, people working in the humanities, people working with research data. So my role as policy manager was to bring all these people together and make sure that the infrastructure that we ended up building meet international best practice and was, we were capable of providing a trusted digital repository that is a repository that will preserve digital data in the long term. So my advice for Ethiopians who are undertaking a similar project would be to find an audit system that suited their needs. We use the Core Trust Seal and this is a list of 16 requirements that repositories must provide in order to be a trusted digital repository. And I found that very useful as a tool in helping us make sure that we built the repository in a robust way. The modern libraries are working towards this digitization because to address their resources to their users in the university to excel higher education and to keep qualities. So far in this workshop uh, I feel good. I got different points that I learned. For example, yesterday we have practical sessions. On those practical sessions uh, I got different experiences that how we can have that DOI and how we can upload our researches and how we can integrate them with our personal identification. Uh, today we have different uh, presentations. I have attended those presentations and I learned from these presentations. And uh, from this motivation, uh, I'm ready to work hard together with the group and at the library. I'm ready also to proceed and take the leadership in relation to organizing workshops and in relation to establishing different types of collaborations with different university groups as well as workshop organizers and thank you.